Hey everybody, my name is Kendall, welcome back for another video of Last Judgment. We're gonna continue this video, boys, or this series, I should say. Uh, we're back exactly where we last left off. What happened is, in my own free time, right be after I recorded the la previous video, which was a week ago or something, I tried to do some free roam for the side quest and stuff like that, and I ended up accidentally uh, going to the gymnasium, which activated the cutscene for the main story, so I had to reload. And here I am a week later, because I didn't want to mess up anything. Uh, I didn't have time to do any side quest, boys. Unfortunately, that's just how it goes sometimes. I do have to equip my abilities. Once again, I guess I got to retry or redo everything. You see my specials again. So I'm not quite sure what I equipped last time. I do have enough points for one ability. A photo OP sense. I kind of want to have that. That would be a good one. A uh, photo master would be a really good one too. But uh, let's do OP sense, I guess. It is what it is. It vibrates right before photo op during a photo mission. That's that. So we got all bunch of uh, side quests. I mean, I've got well, I don't have side cases, but I've got school stories. So you know, I can do those, but I can't really do anything right now. So I can. I gotta investigate the professor, the professor, and continue the dance club investigation. I don't know where they are though. I don't know where the dance club is at and everything. So it's kind of weird. Kind of a, a weird place to be at boys. I, I don't know what's, uh, where's what. And uh, I would really need like in the GPS. the I would need uh, them to show me where uh, where to go and stuff. But there we go. Let's go into the cutscene right here. Hey guys. How we all doing? Sweating it out on some layups? Uh... Who are you? My name's Yagami. I've been the MRC's advisor for all of a couple minutes, and I need to ask the basketball club a few questions. Okay. There was a student teacher who used to hang around here as recent as, what, October? Mikoshiba's the name. Oh yeah, Mikoshiba-san. Anyway, he stopped showing up out of nowhere. Any of you have any theories? Okay, scratch that. Then, what kind of teacher was he? Is he nice? Is he a jerk? I wouldn't say jerk, but he was enthusiastic. Yeah, I mean, he did show up almost daily. The club was really good back in his day. That's probably why he had us hustling even harder than the coach. So, would you say he was on good terms with you all? I guess. Wait, where's Koda and them? Oh, from class 2-2? I don't know. I haven't seen Matsu, Nakane, anyone. I think they got beat up one too many times, boys. I don't think they want to show up ever again. They're tired of seeing my face. Something special about Class 2-2? Two -two? <laughs> well, yeah. Koda's in 2-2, two -two, and she was Mikoshiba Sensei's star pupil. Oh, really star now? Pupil. I do know who you're talking about, by the way. Are you saying she was favored over the others? In a way. Mikoshiba Sensei worked her harder because she hadn't played basketball till high school. See, most of us already had tons of experience by the time we joined. So, anyone starting as late as now has to be really athletic to keep up with the team. Mikoshiba Sensei knew that too. I'd say him looking after Koda did us all a favor. Wow, sounds like a model instructor. Ah, uh, if you say so. But I'm not sure Koda felt that way. Oh? Mikashiba sensei might have just thought it was tough love, but I think he went overboard with the teasing sometimes. Like, he'd make her shoot and then go, See? That was how not to do it. Are you saying he would mock her? Hmm, that makes it sound bad. He was doing it because he cared, I think? Hey, wasn't Mikashiba sensei the one who started the whole arousing thing? <laughs> he said the way she held the ball was arousing. Said it was her main contribution. That's not true. She's got a nice chest, too. That's fair. Anyway, when Mikoshiba Sensei stopped coming, the guys in 2 2 were all like, Okay, what did Koda do to him? Are you implying they had a relationship? Beats me. Mikoshiba Sensei did anything like that, he would have gotten canned on the spot. Yeah, people like to gossip, but as they say, where there's smoke, there's fire. <laughs> Maybe Koda-san's the reason he was always so fired up. <laughs> Maybe she's the reason he got fired. <laughs> so the writing on her hand, it wasn't some random insult. Um, 
Are we about done here? Last thing. Where are Kodasan and the others? Are they off in this lake? No. Everyone's usually here by now. Hmm. Maybe they're still in their classroom? Okay. Then I think that about does it. Back to work for the both of us, huh? Well, all right, that was easy. They literally told me everything. It was like a different, a complete stranger comes in at your class or at your gym uh, class and all of a sudden they start telling him everything. The missing teacher's murder. So we got uh, some upgrades on that case and stuff like that. So everything's going uh, pretty good. Look uh, for Koda. I still need to, I still wonder though, how do I get to these other tasks, like these side quests and stuff like that? Like, it's not showing me on the map. It's only showing me the main stuff. And it's not showing me where to go for the side areas. Which, I don't know where these, like, where these classes are. Like, I want to do the dance club on my own free time and everything. But I don't know where it is. So, how am I supposed to do anything, really? I don't know if I'm supposed to go here. I, I imagine so, I guess. Let's go up the ladder, I guess. Not sure if I'm going to really find him or not. I guess That's where they want me to go. Interesting little area. This is a big ass uh, gym, uh, gymnasium. That's for sure, man. This whole school is very big. Uh, I imagine, like, I, I don't know why, but how is it that big? I don't know. You spacing out on me? Look at me when I'm talking. You can't face that. The back at it again. The Who fuck? Gave you permission to quit anyway? Newsflash: You're nothing without the club. Yeah. Think about us for a second. Who has to pick up all the grunt work when you're gone? Maybe she feels special after what happened at lunch. Like people suddenly give a shit about her. Doesn't give you the right to ditch practice. Talk about selfish, am I right? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Is that all you know how to say? You think we're letting a stuck-up bitch like you give the orders? You guys still haven't learned to play fair? This fucking guy. Why is your dirty old ass still here? Attention students! Be on the lookout for a creeper showing up in your classrooms! What? What are you are talking you? about? I'd watch my mouth around a club advisor. Say what? That's right! I'm Yagami from the- I made my way through this place, man. You're and fucked your now. just hired me to advise the Mystery Research Club. Bullshit. I guess word hasn't gotten around. Maybe I'll let a few wisecracks slide for now, though. But mark my words, I'll be here every day of the week. So be on your best behavior. Uh, uh, we better get to practice. Yeah, you do that. Yeah, you do that if you uh, don't want to get your ass kicked for a third time. Oh, and uh, break a leg out there. A lot soon. Not very nice, are they? Are you alright? I'm fine. Kodasan, I'm sorry to spring this on you, but as I said, I'm a detective. And I need to talk about Hiro Mikoshiba. <laughs> he started training as a teacher here pretty recently, right? And one day he just stopped showing up? At the time, did you notice anything strange about him? Maybe he seemed troubled, or you saw him hanging around strangers? Why... why are you asking me? The basketball club members think you and Mikoshiba might have been close. At least at practice. They said that? Maybe your relationship with Mikoshiba is a memory she'd rather forget. I forget. Well, she is not allowed to forget about that sort of thing because I need that, uh, that memory right now. I need to know what happened. I suppose there wasn't much truth to what I'd heard then. Don't sweat it. Just so you know, I'm actually going to be hanging around here at the school for a little while longer. If it's cool, I hope we can find a way to be friends. See ya. Wait a sec. Earlier today, it was 
The voice that I heard, wasn't it? I just... never expected anyone to actually stand up for me in school. But you could say I didn't really stand up to them for myself much either. We all just treated it like it was a normal thing. Sometimes people would even laugh about it. But then, today, something changed. Everyone suddenly decided to take a stand like they'd seen enough. I couldn't believe it. But that first voice, the one that told them to stop, that was your voice, wasn't it, Yagami-san? Well, I, I'm not allowed to say that. I knew it. Not in the possibility of saying that, you. you know. Thank you so much for that. Uh, no problem, I guess. Even though it wasn't me. Eye-opening. I never realized... I never thought about how horribly I was being treated until everyone stood up for me. What's more, it made me see that I was strong. In fact, I finally stood up to the basketball kids. So you did. Is that what made you decide to quit the club? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to play basketball in a real team. I used to read this manga that made it look so cool. In a comic, even if you're a terrible player, the team always tries to lift you up. I tried. I wanted it to work, even if all they did was tear me down. But today... I just up and quit. That's not cool at all, is it? You did nothing wrong, Kodosan. Truth is, there's a lot of injustice in the world that goes unseen. And some people decide it's easier to be part of the problem than be part of the solution. The kind of people who only feel joy when they see others in pain. You can only do so much to make people see the light. At some point, you just gotta let them go. You know what I mean? Then there's no shame in quitting. But Yagami-san, I think you can only say that because you're such a strong person. Hmm. I wouldn't say okay. that. In that case, we won't call it quitting. Huh? You can play. It doesn't have to be with the basketball club. If you practice, you wouldn't even need a school basketball club to get to where you want to be. If this sport is what you want to do with your life, I guarantee you there's going to be a path for you to take. And all you have to do is find that path. I mean, it's got to be out there. And then you don't have to call it quitting. I don't know about that. Are you sure? I mean... Wouldn't that be cheating? <laughs> Come on, try to work with me here. So... VMRC, you're the advisor? Yagami-san? Yeah. If you need anything, you just let us know. Anything at all. For example, if you hit any more trouble with those basketball club kids, you find me. Sure. You've got this. I think she'll be fine. She's confident now that she knows, like, she has somebody behind her that can protect her and stuff like that. But for how long? Mr. Detective Yagami-san, right? What do you want? Shouldn't you be at practice with everyone else? Yeah, well, remember Matsun and Sakaki? You know, the two other guys I'm always hanging around? They're ready to talk to you about Mikoshiba-sensei now. Huh. Well, Detective, I think they have a lead for you. Do they now? Why do I feel like this is a goddamn trap? You know, Mikoshiba sensei talked to us pretty often. I think maybe we can help. That is, if you wouldn't mind starting fresh with all of us. Oh, turning over a new leaf, are we? We kind of have to. How else are we going to get good college recommendations? It would really bite us in the ass if you went and narked on us. So, will you at least hear us out? Matsun and the rest are just upstairs. Please be a nice guy. We're really sorry. Okay. I see where this is going. How many guys are up there waiting to jump me? 
The next floor up is for third years, right? You rope some of your senpais into this too? Wow, you don't even know us and you're throwing out accusations like that? How are we supposed to become upstanding citizens with teachers like this? That's just not fair. So that's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty pathetic, prophetic trap. But maybe they really can give me some info. I'm not sure about that. It does feel a lot like a trap. But hey, what do you know? What are gonna, what are they gonna do? They're a bunch of high school children. I, I, I kicked their ass twice already. If they want to get a third round, fine by me. Fine, I'll hear you out. Tell your friends I'm on my way. Really? Awesome. I don't know about this. It's kind of weird. First off, they're sending their girl to tell me about it. Uh, to tell me about this thing. They're not uh, going them themselves. So the fact that they want to, they don't even want to talk to me right away. It feels like a big old trap, boys. We'll find out though real soon. Whatever happens, maybe I should uh, call for backup. I don't know if they try and pull out some guns on me or something. Oh man, I hope the game didn't freeze right there. Okay, no. Sorry to drag you all the way up here for this. You wanted to talk to me about Mikoshiba Sensei? What? I can't hear a word you're saying, man. Why don't you come closer so we don't have to shout? Yeah, let's get this over with. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, really? A kendo stick. So many. What the fuck? You guys all know Mikoshiba Sensei? Nah, that's not how our senpai friends roll. They know the Yokohama Liumon. Yokohama Liumon? You mean the local gang? Hell yeah. I've got a friend who's in deep with those guys. I scratch their back by bringing them chicks to hang out with, and they scratch mine by tipping me for it. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet deal, actually. Also, we've got a little thing going. I get to drop the Liumong name if I need him to handle some business. So you sell them girls in exchange for honorary membership? We need to find better friends. Don't talk to me like you know me. I stay on their good side and I get my personal bodyguards. I work with the tools I've got to get to the top. So you got it all figured out, don't you, kid? But you're missing the big picture. They're gonna turn the table so fast you won't know what hit you. I'll keep that in mind. But I wouldn't worry about me right now. You're the one who's got the real problem on his hands. You get it? From now on, if you even lay a finger on us, you offend the Yokohama Liumon, and they'll take that personally. You see what deep shit you're in here, Yagami-san? So I think you're in deep shit. Because you know now you're bringing Just weapons to this shit, suffering. man. How much are we talking here? A grand? A mil. If you're short, I'd be happy to hook you up with a loan shark. I know a guy who lends for the Seiryu clan Yakuza. First it's a gang, now it's the Yakuza. Keep bringing adult shit into this, I'm gonna start treating you like one. Huh? You wanna see what happens to gang members? I'll show you. You sure you wanna do that? We're gonna charge you extra. Oh, you got this shit down, Matsui. <laughs> Let's take this asshole down. Fuck him up. All right. Let's do this shit. Let's do this. I'm ready, boys. So far, we're just getting cutscenes, though. Hey, I want to fight all of them at the same time. Let me do it, man. Full Batman Arkham style. Let's do it, boys. All right. Let's do this shit. Alright, you wanna do this? Woo! Let's go, boys! Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Alright, get it, this guy! Two of them down already! Just like that! Alright, grab your ass! Boom! I'm not afraid to play dirty in this bitch! When you're in front of a go uh, on me like that! There we go! Alright, grab him! Okay, there we go! And just like that! There we go, get him right there! Boom! Look at that style, boys. That is my style right there. That's what I'm talking about right here. 
There we go. Takedown right here. And EX takedown. Boom. Just like that. He's down. Is that all you got? Pathetic. What a waste. Whoa, now. You're playing dirty tricks, I see. Can't see. Got you now. No, you don't. Where the fuck am I going? What? Did he just jump off? Nah. He's just hiding in the dark. Like a scared little cockroach. My eyes are burning. At least my vision's finally coming back. Holy fuck. They're playing real dirty on this shit. He didn't even try to kill me. Tell me when you find them. I'm going for a smoke. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you got this in the bag. Uh, Senpai, what do we do? You guys follow me. We'll all smoke together till we get an update. Sure, I'll come with. Senpai's the toughest around and the coolest. Ah, uh, sure, I'm sure he is. You had to resort to cheap tactics in order for me to get uh, to get a, a little loss right there. I don't even know why I retreated. I was doing fine even when I blind uh, folded. So I guess punks smoke at school these days. That was a thing of the past. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a thing of the past as well. Well, it is what it is. Anyway, I need to ask Matsui and the others about Mikushiba. So I'll catch them off guard this time. Yeah, they want to play dirty tricks. I'll play dirty tricks as well, boys. I'm not afraid to do it. These little assholes. Unbelievable, boys. Jumping me off like that with a bunch of weapons. Literally trying to kill me. For real, man. I'm a stu I'm a teacher. Students trying to kill me. That's the next level right there. Uh, let me... There we go. Do that really quick. We're gonna go off the bridge, I imagine. Or off the roof. Do we go up right here, or... Okay, we're just going that way. What is that? We got something for us right there. What is this? So the skill verge of death. Wound, uh, wounded tiger has been unlocked. Learn of how to use it from skills. From the skill. Okay. Interesting. So we got a brand new skill, boys. Um, now what, though? Yeah, I really like the ability I had uh, equipped there for some reason. Like the uh, acrobatic, acrobatic one. That was a really good one. I think I'm going to stick with that one. I really enjoyed that quite a lot, boys. I kicked those guys' ass big time. There's another thing right there just waiting for me. I'll go t pick it up really quick because it's right there. I mean, it's right for me. What is that? Oh, it's just, uh, okay, it's just an item and something. Nothing that I'm going to really use that much. Let me uh, go down there. All right, drop down again. Tastes good, senpai. Smoking a cigarette in the classroom? Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> so you came all this way just to get your ass kicked. Hey, Akane! Go get the other senpais! Okay, I'm on it. You guys better watch out. If your teacher busts you smoking, won't you get in big trouble? On the other hand, you guys could use a lesson in manners. And I'd be happy to teach you. Huh? What the hell? Bastard! So this is where you were hiding! <laughs> now what? That mouth of yours won't get you out of this! I'm taking you down! We'll see about that, bitch! You tried to kill me? Now it's personal! Give me that smug look. You look like a jackass, you know that? <laughs> I'm gonna kick your ass. Bitch! Get it! Boom! Get it right there! Boom! I'm gonna play dirty all day! Get your ass in there! Boom! That's what you get, asshole! Get it! Whoa now! Okay, this guy's- Whoa! No, this guy's dangerous, but- Oh shit, he actually got me! Be nice to me, boys! Get up! Get up, it's nothing, it's just a knife! It's just a cut! Holy shit, you literally... Son of a bitch! Alright, no, watch out now! Oh my god, get up! I'm actually struggling here, boys! Holy shit! I don't know what's going on, but this guy is on another level! 
All right, time to use my EX for good right here. Boom, there we go. Get it right here. Use all of your abilities right here. All that you can, buddy. Boom, there we go. Get it. All right, got him. No, 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 you don't. All right, you are going down. And time to take the Senpai leader down, boys. Watch out now. All right, so I'm going to grab this shit and I'm going to throw it your face, you son of a bitch. I'm done with this shit, man. That, that was an actual challenge. What the hell? Jeez. This guy's a maniac. He's too good at this, man. Hey. You mentioned compensation for pain and suffering. Hey, you said a mill, right? How about you give me that money Don't now? Like a good idea? No, we were just being stupid. Could you maybe forget all that? Maybe I could forget if you actually tell me all about uh, Makashiri right. or whatever. Ow! Ah, my shoulder! Holy shit, that hurts, Yagami-san! Tell me everything you know about Mikoshiba. After all, you guys were pretty close, right? And we're up to a thousand of yen, boys, so quite a lot right there. Sensei showed up in practice. Basically. Kind of a pain in the ass, if I'm being honest. As soon as our coach would leave, it's like a switch would flip and he'd start drilling us. He'd make us do like 10 sets of cross court dashes. And if even one of us lagged behind, it meant 10 more for all of us. That made it obvious real quick. Koda was our weakest link. So Mikoshiba was especially harsh on her then. Yeah, because she's such a freaking klutz. Even the first years got sick of her eventually. <laughs> Only thing she did right was unite the team against her. You gang up and belittle a single defenseless girl, a beginner in your sport, and you call that unity. Real classy. Listen up. Mikoshiba's parents have reported him missing. Foul play could be in the works here. He's been gone for far too long. Hey. Did it? Some kind of crime of passion? This isn't the time for bullshit. Or you want to keep going? Nope. I'll pass. Have you talked to Sawa Sensei yet? He probably knows Mikashiba Sensei better than anyone. All she told me was how exemplary he was, both as a student and a student teacher. And that he looked out for you guys out of some sort of camaraderie. Huh? She really talked him up that good? Why, something off about that? Uh, it's just... Sawa Sensei was really cold to him. No matter what he did. Oh, so she was a bastard toward him. Okay, she didn't like him. Turns out the rumors were right. Rumors? Back when Mikoshiba Sensei was a student, one of his classmates apparently committed suicide. And Sawa Sensei suspected him of bullying the kid. I don't think he ever really got past that. He'd get all depressed sometimes. Really? Sawa Sensei thought Mikoshiba was a bully? Oh, yeah. I actually asked him about it once, but he just laughed it off. This is enough to prove Mikoshiba was a bully, but Sawa did seem less than convincing with me. Yeah, that's for sure. That's very strange. Things are really moving on right now really fast. Teach She's lying to me and stuff. So as far as I knew, Mikoshiba Kun was a good student with solid grades back then. Yeah, she was lying the entire time. Not a surprise, boys. Not good either. She can't be lying to a detective like that. What did she really think about Mikoshiba? I'll have to press her on it. Hopefully I'm done with these kids, man. I'm getting tired of having to fight them all the time. Plus, that last fight was ridiculous. I almost literally, I literally got knifed. And I didn't die somehow, but I got lucky with that one, man. Holy shit. I mean, I don't want to fight these guys again, boys. I don't know what they're going to bring next time. They're, they're going to bring guns or something. These guys are in trouble at the, at the, at the worst, like the worst kind of trouble. I love, okay. Yeah. I went exactly to the right floor as well, which is fantastic. Let's find out about her. Uh, she was lying to me. Hopefully this time around when I intercept her, or maybe I can find some stuff about her. 
Hi there. Has Sawa Sensei gone home? Actually, she's in a meeting with the chairman. So then she's at his office? Yes, but I think they may have some visitors. Gotcha. Thanks. A visitor for Sawa. Maybe she'll be bu uh, busy for a good while, which is a good thing. There is that photo I want to peek uh, at earlier. They may not be the finest hour, uh, but it could say, uh, still make for us uh, usual clue. Yeah. So Sawa had a suspected uh, Mikoshiba was a bully, but she wasn't being honest with me before. Yeah, I want to inspect this uh, further, boys. So I really want to get that photo, boys. Big time. Uh, uniforms directly. Yeah, we already know about that. So I want to see what's behind this. So let's move the camera really quick. Uh, oh shit, that's the wrong. Oh, okay. Examine this really quick. I really want to see that photo. Time to do some real detective work right here. So never seen this face before. At least it's not here. Uh, it's not Mikoshiba. Is it? Uh, is this Hiara-san, I guess? The boy who killed himself four, four years ago? Odd for a teacher to have a picture of a single random student on her desk. Yeah, it's very odd. I can't confirm his identity right now, though. I should look for Sawa. Uh, she could be in the chairman's office. I should look for Sawa. She should be uh, in the chairman's office. All right, well... I'm guessing we gotta head over there, then. Gotta head over to the chairman's office, boys. Is this... Oh, okay, so no, I can't get uh, to the whole um, mystery place, so... Fortunate. Let's find out who she talking to. Yagami-san. What's going on here? Kanagawa police. They said they're here to make inquiries about Mikoshiba-kun's disappearance. What the fuck do you mean, they make inquiries? Yes. But I have to ask. Can you tell me what's really going on? I don't know. I don't fucking know. They're not with me. I should leave it to the police to fill you in on that. I mean... Their sources are probably more recent than mine. They should have the latest details. Mikashiba kun is no longer with us, is he? And it's just as I feared. This ain't good. The, the fuck are you looking at? I don't like this. The cops interfering in my, uh... My cases, not good at all, boys. That that cannot be good. Can't allow that to happen, though. They can't be, like, literally interfering in my own cases. What the hell? Oh, I guess we're done with the chapter, too. All right, so I guess we're moving on to a different chapter, boys. In that case, I'll see you guys for the next video. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy uh, this chapter. Keep it easy.